Right, our reporter Gary Cottrell is at a charity golf day this afternoon where there's plenty of famous faces. He's just, uh, he is with a former legendary Premier League striker. Now we can cross to him. Hi, Gary. In the Hertfordshire countryside, it's a charity golf day, uh, Hope and Homes for Children charity. Just quickly explain what that is. It's a charity that works worldwide and in, of course, Ukraine at the moment to make sure that orphans get a family home. So a great cause and always willing to help a great cause, Teddy Sheringham. Obviously, that's a serious matter, less serious, I guess, although not always football. Um, and it's difficult to know where to start with you because, you know, you, you played for so many top teams, won so much in your career. But let's go with the good news first, and that's Tottenham and West Ham. Equal second at the moment in the Premier League. Spurs don't seem to be missing Harry Kane, do they? No, they don't. Um, I often get asked who I follow now after all these years of playing for different clubs. And I, and I say whoever's at the top of the division keeps me, keeps me uh, at ease with everyone. Uh, West Ham and Tottenham up the top and, and loving life at the moment. Uh, Tottenham, as you say, don't seem to be missing Harry Kane. Uh, Son's stepped up to the plate and long may it continue. The way they're playing football is, is fantastic. Madison looks like he's a fantastic addition that's, that's given them a little lease of life and given that uh, that conjunction with, with the midfield and the forward players and I, and I think he slipped in there fantastic. Yeah, many would put him down potentially as signing of the summer. Now, of course, those around them, Spurs at the moment, if you look at the top of the table, all got European football, including West Ham. Could that benefit Spurs in their attempts to kind of move up that league and stay there? Yeah, could have done with going out of the cup last week. Um, uh, I'm sure all the Tottenham fans are distraught about that because, it's, you know, you get two chances to win something. You, you can't be expecting to win the Premier League from where they've been the last few years. So... They've got two chances to win something. They're out of one and they've got the FA Cup to, to look forward to. Um, but it will, have a, it will have a good effect on them later on in the season if they're looking for a Champions League spot, no doubt about that. It does take its toll once you start going into February and March and you're still involved in Champions League games and they're big fixtures by then and everyone gets uh, excited by them and, and forget about the Premier League. So uh, hopefully that will hold us in good stead later on in the season. And you touched on it there, Ange Ball. People, maybe some people raised eyebrows when he was appointed, but it certainly seems to be working out at the moment. The, the fans love the way they're playing football, don't they? Well, just being on the front foot is, is what our Tottenham fans like to see their, their football team being played. You know, I'm here today with Ozzy Ardiles and Glen Oddle. You don't get any better than those two and the way they used to play football. And uh, Tottenham fans have been starved at that over the last few years and they want to see people doing things that they can't do on a Sunday morning. And... Uh, they're definitely doing it at the moment. I know it's early days, but um, keep our fingers crossed that it continues. West Ham uh, still look like you did when you finished playing there, Teddy, if I may say so, looking as, as healthy and fit as ever. You must be pleased by, the, by their start as well, because David Moyes had his critics last season. Yeah, tough, you know, when you're, you're playing in Europe week in, week out, and, you know, struggling in the Premier League, it's, it's real tough. And he, he came in for a lot of stick, but um, he seems to have... Uh, Got a nice little unit. I love Ward Prowse coming in. You know, he's he probably he's probably not the player Declan Rice is, but he gives you more going forward. That's, that's without a doubt. And he he will uh, open up defences for the strikers, and hopefully the boys can can take the chances. Jared Bowen started well. Antonio, great. You know, start scoring goals. You're, you're full of confidence. You never know where that takes you. Good bit of business, isn't it, with Declan Rice? It's turned out anyway. That money's been spent sensibly and wisely and as you say James Wall Prowse has come in and done well but not in the England squad. No, uh, there's a lot of good players there at the moment and that's the way Gareth likes it that there's competition for places. Uh, he'll have to keep producing uh, good performances for West Ham and staying at the top of the league gives you a chance of getting into the England squad. Now if we move all the way down to at the moment the bottom half of the table 11th Manchester United of course you, you won everything there was to win. What's going on there? Um, tough times. Uh, I said at the start of last season, Ten Hag had the, the toughest job in world football. Uh, I still believe it, it's up there with that because Manchester United fans expect Manchester United to be winning, winning stuff. And when they're not, you know, the, the question marks are there and there seems a little bit of disturbance in the camp as well now. Um, you know, he needs to sort that out. I, I'm surprised he came out um, in, the, in the public domain to to question Sanchez, but uh, he's obviously got his reasons for doing that and he wants him to liven up, so let's hope he does. Yeah, so Jane Sancho wasn't uh, performing in training the way he wanted to see and therefore wasn't in the squad, and of course, 
Jane Sancho has replied uh, on social media. You don't, we don't know the ins and outs of exactly what's gone on, but in your day, when you were as successful as any team in the world could be, can you imagine Sir Alex coming out publicly and uh, criticising a player? No, not at all. Uh, very, very rarely anyway. I think uh, the more you can keep these things in-house, then you can control them. Now, with social media, you know, people are going to have their say-so on what it's all about, and it just brings more, more <laughs> hype on, on the situation. So I'm surprised that's happened, but he must have his reasons. Thanks, Teddy. You've got a game of golf to get on with. We could talk Forest, another one of, of Teddy's gloves, and that, but that would get us on to Chelsea, and that would be a, a whole new... Uh, talking point so we're letting him get on thanks very much indeed all for charity and uh, from what i've seen he's playing well